escape the rumors. We're at Escape Plan. We are doing the battle for Britain, Kennington, and we are super excited. Let's go check it out. Brandon here, and I'm with this guy who also has a really cool name. Slightly cooler, I guess. Or less cooler, who knows? <laughs> this is Brendan. Brendan, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Good to meet you, Brendan. Yeah, nice to meet you too. So we tried his game yesterday, Battle for Brendan, um, Kennington, and it was amazing. So tell me a little bit about you and your company, and uh, we'll start with the key question number one. When did your company open? Uh, so, um, Escape Plan's about 400 years old now, so we opened um, in the summer of 2015. Um, just to address your other question about, um, about me, um, the name Brendan is an interesting one because uh, it's actually a Gaelic word uh, and it means stinking hair. That's the meaning of my name. Thanks, Mum and Dad. Stinking hair. Stinking hair. <laughs> well, is, it, is that like a what type of is that like a, mod, a term, a slang, a slogan? I, I think it's just derivation of the word in Gaelic. It's uh, like, thanks, I don't know. Mine is is mine like air stinking or something? I'm trying to make it some variation of it. Hopefully, much better. Than it. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, mine is no hair. <laughs> no hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, um, thank you for key question number one. Key question number two, how many games do you have available at your location right now? So Escape Band is, um, has two venues, one in Shoreditch, which runs two games, and one in Kennington, which is where we have one game. Okay, and um, then or, can, how do you do your bookings? Are there, I'm assuming because most of the escape room companies in London are private, is yours also private bookings? Yeah, they're all private bookings. We firmly believe in not sharing groups. Um, just because you're not sure what's going to happen with those dynamics, uh, so it makes some big sense. It makes it a little bit more expensive for teams if you're in a smaller group, but we try not to set that as a risk. Take some notes, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, and then in terms of uh, Battle for Britain, what is the minimum maximum capacity for So we run it from two to seven to sort of like um, satisfy demand. Um, we always recommend three to five people for this game. Okay. Um, I mean, it's got the physical space for a little bit more, and it's got the gameplay to substantiate it. But it's, you know, most escape rooms tend to you know, be there around that kind of player, socially enjoyable, but it's also just you've got each group of person to do it by themselves, right, right. getting lost in our life. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, if you have two or three players in there, you don't really have to hit the ground running. There's a lot to do. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's, it's a little bit deceptive because um, there's, there's plenty of tasks. Um, there's a lot of discover tasks quite early. They realize how big it is. Right, right. All right, well, key question number three is we love asking this question. The whole point of creating this YouTube channel is to kind of give a, a spotlight to the owners and the developers, the ideas behind these rooms that you guys are putting out, where does the creativity come for something like Battle for Britain? Well, Battle for Britain is um, a game we had on like a list of about four or five games we wanted to create. Um, its inspiration really is the, um, the RAF Uxbridge Bunker, mm -hmm. um, which is uh, the operations room used in World War II. Um, and we visited that back in 2016, and, um, maybe 2015 actually, about a year and a half before we built the game. Uh, we fell in love with it and thought, this can make a really good game. Uh, try to make it a bit more strategic and a bit less kind of, uh, got to get out of the door in 60 minutes. Kind of thing. Um, so that's where it came from. Obviously, my family has um, a lot of art as well. So. We've got, um, in each of our rooms, we've got cameos from my grandparents and my wife's grandparents. Um, we, we, we've spotted them. Well, <laughs> we've spotted them at any point in the map. <laughs> All right, um, and then our key question number four for you, and can you let our viewers know what is in the near future for Escape Plan? Like, what do you have planned? What do you have planned for your company? Yeah, we're a bit of a crossroads, really. Um, we've um, just launched game number three, which is a sort of a two-phase delivery. So while the Baron's out there and people are probably enjoying it, mm -hmm. we've got one more thing to add to the finale to make it a sort of phase two. That will be uh, pretty hopefully this year. 
Um, beyond that, um, we're kind of keeping an open mind to next year. I've got um, I've got another project on which comes under the Escape Plan banner, which is a board game. It's um, a bit of a departure from Escape Room, but it's a social production game. Oh, what is the name of that? It's called Stop the Train. Um, okay. We have got a little um, uh, Facebook page. Which is just it's in the Cambrianic stage at the moment. We get the Oh, very cool. We'll uh, follow up with you on that, so this way you can put that in our uh, uh, info and news section. Oh, <laughs> um, so our last question for you is not really escaping the ladies, more just to learn more about you. Uh, what is something that most people wouldn't know about you? Like a special talent, a hobby, a side job? Um, so uh, I help run a, um, a children's group at a church, oh. so I spend a lot of time with like uh, four or six year olds. Okay. Um, that's a lot of fun and exhausting. <laughs> um, and this year I'm also, actually sorry, just early next year I'm running my first marathon. Yeah. So I'm fundraising for a charity for that. Oh wow. Are you conditioning right now? To... Yeah, the week four of training. Uh, I'm energetic and I'm tired at the same time. <laughs> I'm hungry and I'm full up. It's just a very confusing time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're like, your body's like kind of accommodating but it's getting used to it but at the same time it's like stop it <laughs> yeah so um i'm working out which bit of your body's gonna break first in the marathon things we're not by thinking wow well love the fact that's right thank you and i have one question for you just because i just out of curiosity because you play escape games right yeah what is one that stood out for you one that you like it could be one of your own it could be one you played elsewhere another country you would love it there, yeah, there's, there's, uh, it's difficult, isn't it? You've got to mention lots when you have this question. Yeah, I mean, it could be one. It doesn't have to be the favourite. Yeah, no, yeah, it's, I, I suppose, um, I think I need to give a shout to um, uh, Labyrinth for um, Locked to Get, which um, I don't think it even runs anymore. Um, and there's, um, it was constructed out of reclaimed kind of wood um, oh. inside someone's what well, appeared to be a very tall garage. Yeah. Um, it's kind of levels. It's got one very, very fascinating kind of mechanic, which is essentially kind of a turntable which you would operate. Um, this is a spoiler, but I think the game is closed now. So. Right, right. Um, you, <laughs> we'll bleep it out if it, if it isn't. <laughs> yeah. So um, you'd hang on to these um, kind of poles that came from the ceiling. And you were commanded to push, and you began to push them, and nothing would happen. But I push is any harder, it's going to break. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, something happens. Instead of moving them, your feet begin to move, and you begin to trick this turntable around, and it's like just a wow moment. Oh, and wait, so the floor is Yeah, the floor, and, and as it rotates, you begin to see different doorways open up around. Wow. And it, to me, it was such a phenomenal moment. It's a very, it's a, it's a game that's very light on puzzles and very yeah. big on kind of physical movement. Um, right around. Where is this one? It was in, uh, in, uh, Again, to Belgium. Oh, uh, I'll be down to Belgium. Yeah. No, you got it. Yeah, too. <laughs> but a UK shout out for Marvel. You've got to check that one out. And yeah. the tension's all the fun as well. All right. Well, thank you so much for sitting with us thank and answering our key questions. All right. You guys got to come check out Escape Plan yeah, and the Battle for Britain Washington was amazing. Check out our review of that on, on our website. And stay tuned for more info from Escape Plan and our website too. Take care. Bye. Again, I'm here with Brendan, and he is going to try to beat our 43 second record right now. Are we ready for this? Ready, set, go!
for hints and clues for you to think it through. Leaderboard or not, is whether you win or lose. Three hints left for me to choose. Two hints left for me to use. One hint left for me to move. Time is running now, gotta figure something out. Three hints left for me to choose. Two hints left for me to use. One hint left for me to move. Time is running now, gotta figure something out.